India has begun flexing her muscles in the tech ring. From Indian staff to digital payments to fintech, from space tech to consumer electronics, from information technology to software support, from building metaverse to transformative use of artificial intelligence, Indian success is evident across all domains. Today, India has entered the realm of digitalization. Equipped with a strong and youthful workforce, innovative ideas, cost efficiency, and reliable and efficient government policies, India is poised to grow leaps and bounds in her pursuit of becoming a tech giant. Join us as we discuss India's successful endeavors into the tech market and how she has been able to emerge as a leading participant and contributor across science disciplines, even despite global headwinds. Semiconductors are indispensable and critical components to most forms of modern technology across many industries. Semiconductors are often known as the brain of modern electronics. In this phase of the fourth industrial revolution, India is pushing for growth of the semiconductor industry with the primary objective of becoming self-reliant. The goal is to reduce reliance on imports and establish domestic manufacturing capabilities. The Indian government has announced the reopening of the $10 billion incentive program for semiconductor makers to establish manufacturing bases in India. Pradhan Mantri has given 76,000 crores in uh, December 2021. And he has done this money so that India becomes a semiconductor nation. Bane. और वो 76,000 crores देश में manufacturing capacity लाने के लिए, packaging capacity लाने के लिए, हमारे startups design के दुनिया में आगे बढ़े उसके लिए. After establishing themselves as a major competitor in sectors such as aviation, automotives and defense, the Tata Group, one of India's largest conglomerates, has made its entry into the semiconductor market with a 90 billion dollar investment announcement. As the demand of electric vehicles rise, the semiconductor demand will also boom. Tata, being a prominent player in the EV industry, is venturing into semiconductor manufacturing. India's semiconductor market is projected to reach 110 billion by 2030. India's Vedanta and Taiwanese manufacturer Foxconn have invested 19.5 billion in building semiconductor and display production plants in Gujarat. India will be a large telecom equipment exporter, a very competitive talent pool, good talent pool, about 52,000 semiconductor engineers working in the country. Semiconductor manufacturing will become, uh, uh, will also be affected by the green discourse we have everywhere. So we in India are very clear that whatever new plants, new fabs that we uh, set up will be served with green energy. While semiconductors are in the spotlight, almost every major country is making one or another play in the sector. India is equally focused at other major science disciplines that are also less explored, but will hold immense importance in the future. Prime Minister Modi laid the foundation stone of LIGO India an India-US collaboration for a mega science project in astronomy, which includes the construction, commissioning, and joint state-of-the-art scientific operations. LIGO India will provide a platform to researchers and students in this field. The collaboration has already given the opportunity for dozens of Indian students to work with the LIGO Caltech under the Summer Undergraduate Research Fellowship, SURF program. The greatest scientist of the last century, Albert Einstein, had given the theory about gravitational waves. It is a matter of immense pride for all of us that 37 Indian scientists 
from nine Indian institutions participated in the International Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory LIGO collaboration and proved this theory correct three years ago. India is ready to make a huge impact in the world of gravitation wave observations. Today's India has moved far beyond the Western stereotype of the land of snake charmers and black magic. Today, she is not only competing with the best, she is in pursuit of becoming the best. India is currently on her way to dominate the mobile manufacturing landscape. Mobile manufacturing man, Bharat, Dunya ka, dusra sabse bada desh ban kar ke ubra hai. India's infrastructure, favorable government policies, and large, talented workforce have attracted giant global corporations. The biggest smartphone company, Apple, is turning to India to manufacture its products. South Korean company, Samsung, has opened its largest factory in the capital New Delhi's satellite city, Noida. Be it manufacturing, assembling, or outsourcing, India has emerged as the first destination for mobile phone companies. A fast-developing India has strengthened her grip on technology and has allowed 100% foreign direct investment in the mobile sector that has not just provided clarity around the definition of the term manufacturing, but has also given a transparent framework to investors. Apple already assembles its mobiles in India through three of its global suppliers, Foxconn and Pegatron in Tamil Nadu and Wistron in Karnataka. Now, this electronics behemoth is turning to India and making iPhones here under the banner of Make in India. A big part of India's success in the telecom sector is her ability to innovate and deliver cost-effective products. Indian tech and electronics company, Lava, which is well known as a handset manufacturer, has now become the first Indian brand to launch a consumer 5G smartphone for the domestic market. With great infrastructure, a talented workforce, and the foresight to create phones for not only the domestic market, but also the overseas market, this Indian mobile manufacturer is all set to double down on its manufacturing operations. With the launch of their Agni 2 smartphone, Lava is now rolling out what it calls Made in India phones. We are focusing on first on productivity improvement, that how we can be more productive compared to what they are in China. And uh, then we are uh, working on the localization of uh, the components, how we can have more local components so that we, we can have less dependability from China and other countries. And uh, in that process, we can create more employment in India and we can be self-dependent. From manufacturing to assembling to packaging, Indian mobile brands are performing remarkably well. The companies are able to produce efficient battery chargers, along with meticulous phone designs. With strong support from the government, India surpassed $10 billion worth of smartphone exports in the fiscal year of 2022 to 2023. The mobile industry, where we've grown from two manufacturers to probably nearly 200 manufacturers in the mobile ecosystem is a living example of the success. The government has come up with a well-designed scheme which offers incentives of 4-6% to on incremental sales of mobiles manufactured in India to qualified companies for a period of five years. With Micromax, Lava, Intex and Carbon scripting success with low-cost phones, the Indian smartphone market is entering a hyper-growth phase. With Indian engineers who are focused on future breakthroughs and on enhancing the manufacturing process through automation and robotics, 
Companies are able to trim down their costs whilst increasing their productivity. With agile policies and an anti-fragile mindset, India is propelling inclusive growth in the mobile sector and is steadily emerging as an ideal development model for the world.